Hello and welcome to the episode. Today I'm performing the 310 mile service on my wife's 2022 Royal Enfield Meteor 350. I will be covering tap adjustment and oil and filter change. I have time stamped each process. I do encourage owners to work on their machines because it gives you a better connection of the motorcycle. However, I cannot guarantee this will not affect your warranty, but please proceed at your own risk. We are doing the tappets first, so make sure your engine is completely cold. Remove the rear backrest screws using a 6mm hex bit. Remove the side rails with a 9mm hex bit. Slide the rear seat off. With a 10mm socket, remove the rider seat. Remove the tank bolt with a 8mm and a 10mm socket. It's a good idea to do this with an empty tank. Gently lift the tank and slide back. Get an assistant to hold the tank up. Unplug the main fuel line. It has push clips either side. Remove the rubber cover around the fuel pump plug. With your finger, push the tab inwards and pull the plug. Go to the right side and remove the two breather hoses. One is bigger than the other. Lift the tank and put it in a safe place. Remove the rocker cover bolts with a 10mm socket. Start from left to right. Remove the coil unit by unscrewing the three bolts. Use a 10mm socket. There are two earth wires that go through the bolts. Gently lift the rocker cover. Leave the gasset on the cylinder block. Grab a 14mm hex bit and unscrew the crank screw cap. Make sure the seal stays in the screw cap. Remove the plugs with a 16mm socket. Check spark plug gap. It should be between 0.7 millimeters and 0.8 millimeters. You don't have to do this, but for illustration purposes, I'm double checking I'm at top dead center. Here I place a clean screwdriver into the spark plug hole. Turn the crank anti-clockwise. Then I can see when it lifts to the top, the piston is at top dead center, ready for adjustment. The camshaft gear will have a T on the top. This should face flat with the rocker arm clamp. Check the valve rocker arms have free play. If they don't, turn another rotation and try again. Here are the valve gap measurements. 0.18mm for the exhaust and 0.08mm for the inlet. Both valves were too tight. To adjust, unscrew the 10mm lock nut and use a flat screwdriver to turn as you tighten. Keep the centre still. It will take some trial and error, but you will get there.
Once done, turn the engine over twice and recheck. Install the spark plug. Check there is no debris in the engine. Slide on the rocker cover, gently place the seal into the groove with your fingers. You shouldn't need to replace the seal at your first service. No sealant is required if you have left the seal on the engine. Once you are happy and you can see the rubber seal seated all the way around, tighten the rocker cover bolts to 10 Nm. Clean the engine. Screw the crank cap back on, just nip it up. Install the coil pack and don't forget the two earth wires. Install the tank, make sure the hoses are not pinched. Check the cables that run along the frame are not getting caught at the front of the tank locators. Install the bolt. Start the engine and leave running for 10 minutes checking for any leaks. While it's running, install the rider seat. And install the passenger seat. And finally the rear grab rails and backrest. Leave the rails loose until you screw the backrest in. Clean all the areas you have touched. Now we are ready to change the oil and filter. Here is the oil I use. It exceeds manufacturer's specifications. They recommend semi-synthetic, but I'm switching to fully, as it's in the brand I always use and it's vastly available. Start by turning the engine off. Allow to stand for 10 minutes. Remove the oil filler cap. Place a drain bolt underneath. Unscrew the filter plate underneath the engine using a 10 mm socket. Loosen the bolts and allow to drip for five minutes. Fully loosen the screws. Pull out the plastic filter. Place all the items on a rag. Unscrew the crankcase drain bolt with a 17mm socket. Unscrew the oil filter cover with a 6mm Allen socket. Remove the filter and note orientation of the filter. The spring is facing outwards. Clean the area with parts cleaner. This cleaner is rubber safe. Grab the new filter and soak it in clean oil. Clean all the parts. I'm not changing the oil because the bike is only covered 300 miles and will be fine. If you want to, you can replace them. Keeping the filter dirt free, placing the filter hole with the spring facing outwards.
Firmly push on the plate as you tighten the bolts. Work around clockwise. Tighten these to 10 Nm. I'm not using a torque wrench as I've been in the trade for a long time and I use my torque wrench that's built into my wrist. Measurements are here if you need them. Tighten the 17 mm drain bolt. Place the plastic filter and tighten the bolts. Only nip these to 8 Nm. Clean the area. Fill the jug with 900 milliliters of oil. Slowly pour into the engine. Grab the 1 litre bottle and pour 700 millimetres in. Check the oil level through the inspection glass as you go along. Make sure it's above the minimum mark. Start the engine idle for 2 minutes. Turn off, wait one minute and recheck level. Put the rest of the oil in. This bike takes 1.7 to 1.9 litres of oil. Now I'm going to show you how to reset the service light. Turn the bike on change the trip to B. Using the I button located on the left grip, turn the bike off. Hold the button for 10 seconds then turn the ignition on while still holding the I button. And then you're done, the spanner has gone. Here are the tools I used. 14mm hex, 6mm hex, 16mm plug socket, 9mm hex, 8mm socket, 10mm spanner, 10mm socket, short flat screw, 17mm socket, feeler gauge, 10 watt 50 oil, genuine oil filter and some parts cleaner. Well that's the end of the video. Hope this has been helpful. Please subscribe for more of these handy videos. I also do vlog runs with my wife, as well as bike reviews. And I would love to have you on board. Until then, I've been Nick and I'll catch you on the next episode. Ride safe.